Miss Austin. Um, Mr. Lefroy. You're reading? Yes, I've been looking through your book of the wood. Mr. White's Natural History. Well, uh, how do you like it? Oh, I cannot get on. It's too disturbing. Disturbing? Yes, take this observation. Swifts on a fine morning in May, flying this way and that way, sailing around at a great height, perfectly happily. Then, then, one leaps onto the back of another, and forgetting to fly, they both sink down and down in a great dying fall, fathom after fathom, until the female utters Yes? Until the female utters a loud, piercing cry of ecstasy. Is this conduct commonplace in the natural history of Hampshire? Ah, uh, um... Your ignorance is understandable since you lack, what should we call it, the history? Propriety commands me to ignorance. Condemns you to it and you're writing to the status of female accomplishment. If you wish to practice the art of fiction to be the equal of a masculine author, experience is vital. I see. And what qualifies you to offer this advice? I know more of the world. <laughs> a great deal more, I gather. Enough to know your horizons must be widened by an extraordinary young man. By a very dangerous young man. One who has no doubt infected the hearts of many a young woman with a soft... Read this, and you will understand. 